Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. Boy, do we have a doozy for you tonight. I know I say that on a majority of streams, but folks, there's a brand new Pokemon game, and it's free to play. That's right. Uh, let me back it up a little bit. Uh, I've been running a short little edited video series called Is It Any Good, where I play games like Roblox Escape from Tarkov and Cruelty Squad, kind of these niche slash cult favorite slash uncertain controversial games. Uh, I basically play the game sight unseen, uh, you know, maybe I've seen a trailer or an image or two, but I don't ask how it is. I don't look up reviews. I don't look up guides or information or tutorials. I just go into the game and I play an hour of it. And then I deliver an objective, irrefutable, factual judgment on the game right then and there. I was planning on doing another one for Pokemon Unite, but, uh, well, long story short, I'm in the middle of buying a house. I'm planning to move in about a month. So things are pretty crazy in my life right now. And I don't have time to sit down and do an actual recorded video and then the full edit. But I still want to answer the question, is Pokemon Unite any good? So I figure, why not just do a solo stream? Let's check out the game and uh, see how it is. So let's kick it over to... Here we go. Um, no audio on that, but... Daddy's got you. Do I have you, though? Well, I'll, I'll do a workaround. So, um, let's play some Pokemon Unite. Let's see how it is. I have installed it. Okay, that's a lie. We're going to play about five minutes of uh, Legend of Zelda Breath, Breath, of the, Breath of the Skyward Sword because I need to save it. I forgot that I'm going to have to close it. My apologies, folks. No, don't do that to me. We're not using that. Okay, I just need to go save with the statue and then we can uh, continue. Let me turn the volume down. That's better. That's a little better. Man, now I kind of just want to play this game. I, I really just want to play Final Fantasy XV, but... Um, we gotta get to, uh, Pokemon Unite. Thanks, uh, bird boys. Okay, here we go. Put an hour on the clock. Let's kick it off. Hey, shout out to, uh, Walmart brand cream soda. I bought this today because I, I like to drink sodas on road trips. Um, it's like a, a little bit of a sugar high. Um, I wasn't sure how that would be, but turns out fantastic. What's happening in this game? Wow, that's some high-res Pokemon there. So, what I know about this game, it's from the Pokemon Company. I think there's another dev that helped out with, but this is, this is a Pokemon game. It is a MOBA. It is free to play, and I've heard some bad things about the microtransactions. To be clear, I believe this is completely free to play. It is not a free to start, which Nintendo has done with some of their games before. Turn down the volume a little bit for you guys. Oh, there's that cool, that, was that Mew, Mew, that's not Mewtwo, that's not Greninja, that's, that's Blue Boy. There's, um, that's Pikachu. Who is that on the ground? Pidgeotto? It's Lucio. Is that, that's not Lucio. Lucio's from Overwatch. Oh, uh, Mr. Mime. Snorlax. Ratboy. I've heard that this is a MOBA with timed matches, which, which sounds fantastic. Because sometimes MOBAs can drag on way too long. This is soccer. Got it. Pika Pika. Who won? Okay, let's play Pokemon Unite. Pokemon 
You know, I guess I'm downloading an update. Pokemon, unite. Pokemon, unite. Oh, there's Greninja. He's got the tongue scarf. Who's the thick girl on the left? Who? Who that? Who that girl? That Zootopia girl? Who that? Logging in. Okay, great sign so far. Great start. A little kitty in front of me. Which language do I want? English. Yes. Uh, country. These are the bits that I edit out. Okay, now ask me for my home address. Yeah, sure. You're going to make me open it? You're going to make me open it and select my language. Oh, that's weird. The right stick zooms in and out of this. I mean, I think it's a web page, but it feels like I am use feels like I'm scrolling through a PDF on the switch. Great. I, I agree. Cool. Let's look at the privacy notice. You know, I got to be honest with you. Fantastic gameplay so far. Oh, I guess the right cursor, is, I mean, the right stick is just a generic browser zoom. It, you know, it looks great. I agree. Requires age information from users. This is only used for game operations. For birthdays, I guess. Oh, this is a 10 cent. Look at that copyright at the bottom. 10 cent joint. What's details? Oh, great. They're doing weird Pokemon account stuff. Okay. Trainer name. Um. Jebediah. I always forget that the Switch interface is meant for like the smaller handheld screen. Which I think is great, but I'm playing on a 32 inch 4K that's maybe two feet from my face. And this keyboard looks enormous. The key the keyboard is this wide across for me. It's huge. Each of these buttons is like more than a square inch. That these have to be unique trainer names. Fine, I'll just add more characters to it. I'll do my usual. Sorry, I haven't played a Tendo game in a while, so. Jeb, Jeb, Jeb Goober. It's okay, folks, we're only five minutes in. So far, this is a very uh, legal game. Nobody's gonna have that name. Boom, Jeb Goober. Put it at the top of the high score chart. Ooh. Give me this one. Choose your face. I'm okay with this one. Actually, no, sorry, I want to go back. I like this one. She's cute. I... I don't think it's my... Joy-Con, because I fixed it recently, but... Oh no, because the right one does it too. It's It does a little, like, double jump. Like, it really wants to just keep going instead of... Like, I flick it once to the right or left. Honestly, I really like the default one. Hair color. I, I know, I, I, it's just a good look. It's just, all these defaults are good. Jeb Goober. 
should have made a sexy name so my opponents lose to me on purpose. My name is Forrest. You have the look of a Pokemon trainer. Can I? Can't speed up the text, can I? There we go. Okay, yep, tutorial, let's do this. <clears throat> Pikachu is ranged, great offense, and excel at ranged attacks. This is a very, like, placeholder loading screen. Yeah, because you can just steamroll people. I could see that. This could be a lot of people's first MOBA. Hi, I'm Pikachu. Hi, my name's Chu. Pikachu. Um, final score when the time runs out. Let's let's move around a bit. Oh, he's slow. Look, a wild a pom. Hey, don't. Oh no. Oh, so it's auto choosing my attack. I'm guessing they all do the same damage, but AO synergy in your unite ball and scoring to go with that energy in one of the opposing team's goal zones would net points for your team. Because the team scores the most points. Steve so collects his mail synergy, try scoring a goal. So I get energy from killing, and then I, this this is like a bank cash, whatever that, whatever that um, FPS mode is where you kind of earn money for killing people, but you gotta cash it, otherwise you lose it. Score 30 points. Oh, okay. Daddy scored a goal. I mean, combat's not bad. I leveled up. Man, I swear, I will never get used to L versus ZL. No, R versus ZR. I always get that mixed up. Oh, he's defending the zone. Kinda getting hurt a lot. Oh, and you drop it, okay. Got it. Okay, it definitely seems like a weird little... I appreciate how different they are from a normal MOBA. Not sure if it's... All these changes are going to pay off yet. Charizard. Offense and Endurance and Excel. Oh, he knows... Microsoft Excel. Fast and the Furious happening outside. Sorry about that, folks.
Wow, there's a lot of different Pokemon in this. I've noticed some uh, decent load times on this. Oh, it's got two paths. Oh, and you defeat the towers by depositing. Wow, well, I think as we all know, our bottom, so I'll go bottom path. Oh, you can recover HP at the towers. KO'd that goofer. Oh yeah, I'm a Charmeleon, boys. Choose a move. I want... Fire Punch. Oof. That's some real dirty animation there. Uh-oh. Team fight, y'all. I think I'm kind of having fun with this. You know, not bad for a free-to-play game, honestly. All right, let's go knock out some opposing Pokemon. Gotcha. No, don't you do that. Gotcha. I felt real good, honestly. Oh, you're about to get stunned, boy. <laughs> Deep flex zone. Okay, got it. So if you go past their tower. But I want these. Thank you. Oh, beautiful.
just hanging out back there. Zapdos. Let's go fight Zapdos, boys. I think I can... Yeah. Nicely done. Oh no, they're hitting that tower. Gotcha. Go pop some towers. Pretty good. Pretty good. You win. All right. Um, first match I was against AI. I think I like it. I think I like it. Not bad for a free to play game. It doesn't feel limited at first level. But again, I haven't really hopped into the game game yet. So let's see what happens. The Unite license. Okay, I also want to see what these, um... Oh, this lets me play as them, I guess. Ranged supporter. Ranged attacker. Oh, I kind of like that. Melee speedster. Let's do some talent flame. Let's see how it's going. Check your trainer level, commemorative gifts for reaching each level. Oh, this is like a battle pass, right? Okay. Well, I don't know if it's gonna reset with seasons, but. Oh, I got a slow bro. And this game has some like performance issues. Like I just hit B to go back to a different menu and it at it's like a two or three second delay right there. Ooh, I got some coins. There's new Pokemons. Slow, bro. Crustle? I feel like something that is going to make or break this game is how many Pokemons they got in here. They've got a decent amount in here, a lot more than I was expecting. You know, it's not like Pokken, which had like, what, like six or something? Got my login bonus. Wait, it says there's more in here? Got, got, uh, tickets. What's over here? Oh, my closet. No, I don't want to wear that. I don't want to wear that either. But I have to go in here to look at it. No, don't. See, I, I hate this. Look, it's got a red dot telling me that it's new, but the only way it goes away is if I equip it. But I don't want to equip it. I look good in that. What else is in here? Oh, mail. 
Yeah, this interface seems a bit a bit low and wacky. Oh, I got a, a Pokemon. I got yellow fighter guy. Zerara. Cool. Okay, let's let's do a unite battle. Let's just get into some matches. Let's have some fun. What is Okay, invite friends. That's my friends list. Does this let me I guess eventually I can choose different modes there. like flashes the screen when you're choosing. Okay guys, let's uh let's play Pokemon Unite. I feel like there's some good stuff going for this, but it it also is not performing great. Long load times, like weird delays between going between menus and stuff. I don't know. Let's see. I, I guess I should have bought the Switch Pro. It probably runs better on that anyways. Bye, kitty. Ten minutes. This looks bigger than the uh, practice arena. Nice. Oh, I forgot that speed flex. Let's not go past there. Hey. Let's punish him. Punish him. He's pretty fast. Punish him. Gotcha. Beautiful. I want Aerial Ace. I need to learn what those icons are. I kind of like that. They, they actively discourage you from going past the tower. Oh yeah, party time, boys. Gotcha. I need some, uh... Need some heals. This heals slowly. I mean, which I think makes sense, but... Let's go kill some two first. Oh. Oh, that's bad, boys. Come on, come on. Oh, that hurt. They're punishing up top. Did a little thingy. 
Let's defend. I'll go down here and defend. Oh, targeted the wrong guy. Oh, I guess that's an AoE. Are they pushing hard up top? I, I think I am enjoying this. This is definitely baby's first MOBA. And as we both know, I'm a baby. Pinch him. Oh. Yeah, I'm retreating. Oh, yes. Almost got a double KO there. Get him! Beautiful. Beautiful. Get him. Push it. Man, we gotta go defend top. He's waiting on that super for me. Well, I can sacrifice my life. They were pushing very hard on that. Um, I think this is, um, I haven't hit the monetization too hard yet, but you know, just as a free to play MOBA, that's easier to get into, etc. It feels pretty good. I misfired that. 
punished ya. Man, that top is vulnerable. Get him! Got him. I want to go deposit. <laughs> I think I just snuck by him. Yeah, gotcha. Their team fight in the middle. Team fight is perfect. I, I got to figure out some of the scoring because see, there's 45 seconds left. We're probably not going to win, so. Beautiful. There's the wild Pokemon. Team fight. Time's oh. up. This feels good. I, I'm not going to lie to you. It feels pretty good. You win. This, I, you know, I think I kind of like this. I think for what it is, it's a free to play MOBA using the Pokemon IP, but kind of standardized and dumbed down a bit. So it's easier to hop into. It's not as intimidating. It's not as much of a commitment. It's just a 10 minute match. Ooh, baby. Look at that. I leveled up the most of everybody. Is that nine kills? Man, that feels good. Um, let's review battle. It was, it was a little close for a while. Again, I'm not sure what the monetization is like, but. Nice. Let's, um, I want to see what my skills are, because I feel like I'm just mashing my skills. Oh, yeah, this could be decent on mobile. Well, maybe. I don't know how the, how the, like, movement control would work. A lot of the actions, the attacks, are just, like, straight up. Like, you press it, and it just auto-attacks anybody who's in the range. Some of them you can kind of directional. There's a day one mission. Day one challenge. Complete the tutorial. Thanks. Obtain three Unite license. Advanced one tutorial. Daily missions. Claim it. Thank you. Claim it. Thank you. What's the what's this? Oh, there's that hollow wear. That is the skin. How much do you think this costs? Energy rewards not unlocked. It's a good looking skin, though. You know, there's games like Apex Legends that charge you 14 bucks for a skin. and Or, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know if it's actually 14 bucks, but it's a decent amount and the skins don't look that great. But this, these are cool skins. I don't want to know what it's, oh, move descriptions. There we go. Fly in the designated direction. Wall cloaked in flame, attacking opposing Pokemon. Increases movement speed for a short amount of time. Aerial Ace. Okay. This is cool. Let's hop into battle and let's pick another uh, uh, Pokemons. Why is it telling me to open up the menu? 
Oh, I didn't complete the tutorial. Learn how to aim and cancel moves. You know what? No, I want to play. I want to play. Hi, Baron. We're having a surprising amount of fun playing this game right now. You know, I like the concept of MOBAs. You know, you have like a set map and you have certain strategies and there's there's um, computer controlled enemies and there's player controlled enemies and you got to figure out when you want to attack which and then there's like you could do try and do some 1v1s you can try and snipe an enemy player then there's like team fights which is when everybody gets in a brawl i love all that stuff i just think that a lot of it gets mired down in like way too much uh minutia and detail and mechanics and oh there's a shop with 40 items and you got to do your courier back and forth and oh no uh, the last hit first hit means don't help out your teammate even if they're fighting somebody and about to die and it's like it's weird stuff like that What's this guy? Oh, he's, oh, it says top left. Melee speedster. Let's do Slowbro. Yeah, it's way too difficult to learn them. There's too much like, even if you know MOBAs, there's like 90% of it is the meta. He's like, oh, this character with this item, with this item, this character counters that character. Why are you popping that move so early? And this being simplified, but still having a decent amount of, I don't want to say decent amount of depth, but having the framework and structure of a depth in terms of like, hey, you're going to get certain moves and you need to decide what you're going to do. And some characters are better at pushing, some better char some characters are better at defending. This, this is like, I feel like this is a gateway drag for MOBAs in a way. And I'm okay with that. And it's free. Um, if you're if you if you're like me and you're off put by that difficulty climb with MOBAs, I would recommend Heroes of the Storm. That's the only other MOBA I've played that I enjoyed, and it's because it fixed a lot of the mechanical problems, and it removed um, about half of the mechanical depth and like obfuscation. So, they, uh, they made it a little bit easier to hop it, but more depth and mechanics than this. I'm gonna go top. When is... Okay. I answered one of my questions, which is... Can I hold down the A button to, to attack? Well, I guess I don't even need to hold down. I guess I auto attack. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, I am. I'm auto-attacking. I guess he hit A to start the attacks. Oh, no, that's not good. He hurt me real heavy there. Also, I think the respawn time gets increased as the match goes on, which is pretty cool. I, I'm i not sure about the Nexus thing with Heroes of the Storm. Uh, the big changes, again, not a huge MOBA fan, but the big changes are XP is shared across the team. So it's not like one person's leveling up or, you know, don't steal your teammates XP, things like that. Um... Oh, I misaimed that, didn't I? Punish him. Oh, 
let's go get him. Nice. And they're not... I, I absolutely see what you mean about a lot of people not really knowing how to play this. Play MOBAs in general. Gotta get up there. Put some hurt on him. Where's my? There he is. I'm gonna run towards the enemy base. Pull him away. Cool, um... Yeah, it's a little bit of defense there. Uh, the other thing Heroes of the Storm does is they, they have some dynamic maps, so there's a handful of maps instead of one, and there's, like, dynamic actions, like, oh, this door just opened, go kill these guys. I, I want to go see what's going on up here with this guy, with this Zapdos. targeted that. Oh, we're the same boy. Oh, I misfired the telekinesis. I, like... I, I, I'm with you. I don't understand how people do the time sync and the commit to initially learn how to play an MMO. I mean, a, a MOBA because of the, the difficulty and like the, just the steep learning curve. But that being said, I can absolutely understand after you put that time in how you're like, oh, this is the best game ever. Look at all this depth and I know it, et cetera, et cetera. So. Get him. Not going well. Yeah, nice. Got another sliffer. Targeted wrong. Gotcha. I gotta get out of here. Whoa. Yeah, it's I, like, I feel like it's kind of like Tarkov where the game does an absolutely terrible job at introducing new players and actively pushes them away. But once you get in there, you're hooked. You just really need that balance between like a great MOBA and great intro. I want to go drop some. Huge lead.
Oh, he... Oh, he... Because he was in the HP zone. No, don't get in a fight. Not when we're like this. You're low on health. I'm low on health. Got him. Man, we are just dumping on these guys. The opposing team surrendered? You know what? That's true. Uh, you know, it take a lot of effort to improve your game, but a B skin, that's like five minutes of artwork. Um, let's play, uh, you know, this is fun. This is a good way to pass the time, honestly. Let's play another match. I think we've been playing about 50 minutes now. Um, yeah, I think MOBAs are for people who love those like ARPGs. Those action RPGs, Diablo, and and MMOs, where it's like not so much about the combat, it's about like the combos and the the different skill options, etc. Let's do another battle. Another battle, and then I will render my judgment. Come on, boys, let's ride it up. Oh, hi. What is this, melee speedster? Yeah, let's do melee speedster. Let's battle prep, ZL. There's held items? Oh, I heard about these. This is the monetization. You can get these things out of loot boxes or loot crates, but you can also basically like buy your way to them through loot crates that you purchase and they make you more powerful. So, yeah. I'm gonna go central area. Oh, speedsters go central. Cause then you can, you can bounce. Okay. You can rotate slash run. All these MOBA terms. 10% of them are coming back to me, and the other 90% are slowly starting to make sense. Feed, etc. This is like, it feels like they really wanted to make a pickup and play MOBA. I don't want to say they nailed it, but they get, they they they're doing a great job at it. Ready, go! Everybody went top. Doesn't sound like a good idea for everybody to go top. Those are health, so you attack them for health. Gotcha. I need to go to deposit. Um, 
I mean, you do have to play with other players in order to rank up and stuff, but there is a difference between ranked and um, casual, etc. Let's see if I can gank these goofers. Come here. Gotcha. What was that? Did he just teleport? Well, not teleport, but like... Where are you running to, buddy? You're just gonna get hurt. Let's do a uh, volt switch. Oh, it lets me. Got it. I'll come help you. Hi. How are you doing here, little boy? Oh, no. I'm low on health. No. I had so many points. Um, I think you can do a practice versus CPU. I don't know if you actually get ranks and drops from it. But honestly, this is this is very non-competitive in a way. It's not very punishing if you die. I don't think your teammates are going to yell at you because I don't think they actually can. Doofus. Stupid heals. I fed him. I fed him. Heels now. I need heals. Oh boy, no, I don't think there's. I so I have to. I do have some communication. So you see here, like that. I gotta go up. I gotta go up top. I gotta help these guys. Oops. At least they're defending that point. What's this do? You can super jump. That's what that guy did. Get in a fight, baby. Yeah, I'm defending. I do like the bushes. Type advantages? I don't think so. 
Not that I can tell. Oh, what's that guy doing over here? A bit of a jungle in the middle. Hi. I gotta go up and... Well, let's see if I can defend down here. Wild fight. I wish I could see the score somewhere. That's just... Well, let me see. I want to do this. I want to go up here. Let's go party. That, that, I've been bodying that boy all match. Oh, that boy. He's, he's AFK. I love it. Get him. I got 20. Go see if I can find a teleport pad. Nice. Plus twenty points. Hi. Oh. I gotta go deposit some points. Gotcha. That felt good, honestly. They're trying to press home, but they ain't got it. Oh no, did they win? Yes! Look, folks, I think that's going to do it for our Pokemon Unite. Is it any good episode? And the answer is maybe I'm going to go with maybe. Here's why we only played a couple matches. I think the gameplay is actually pretty solid. I think it's a great beginner's MOBA and not just for kids. And for people who have never heard of a MOBA, but maybe for people who have bounced off a MOBA before. Uh, I, you know, I joked this is a MOBA gateway drug, but I think that's true. This is actually a pretty solid MOBA. Um, it doesn't have a huge amount of characters. It doesn't have a huge amount of mechanical depth to it. The matches are 10 minutes. It's not like you're buying items. It doesn't have like a huge skill tree for each Pokemon, but it feels pretty good. Um, and it's definitely giving you a taste of this is what the genre has to offer. You can keep playing this game if you want to. If you want to get even more into it, you should probably bump up to Heroes of the Storm, League of Legends, Dota 2, etc. Um, the reason why I say it's a maybe is we, we saw it. When you go into battle, you can have items held by your Pokemon, kind of like in Pokemon games, and they give bonuses like plus 2% speed, plus 5% attacks, etc. As far as I know, those items come through 
uh, the the season pass type progression, but I believe they are also in the loop the loot boxes that you can outright buy. So there are absolutely gameplay competitive advantages you can get in this game by throwing money at it. And that's a problem. I don't like that. Keep it cosmetic. Purely cosmetic. I'm okay with that. Don't add any sort of gameplay mechanic advantage or booster whatsoever based off of money purchases. Um, so I, I would say if you're intrigued at all, if you've ever been intrigued by a MOBA, if you've ever thought about playing a MOBA, if you've played a MOBA before and previously hated it, or if you're a Pokemon fan, give this game a shot. It's free to play. As you can see, I just had an hour of fun. Um, it's definitely definitely worth trying. If it's piqued your interest or curiosity yet any way whatsoever, give it a try. It's fun. Um, just beware of those monetizations. And, you know, I feel like with MOBAs, you've got to pick a game and go with it because of the uh, difficulty and learning curve and all the meta and lore you need to skill trees, characters, matchups you need to uh, memorize in order to play the game effectively. That bar is much, much lower in Pokemon Unite, but I would not pick this as your game to go into because that monetization is scary. That makes me feel like you could be an incredibly good player and still get trounced by somebody who just threw money at the game. But hey, it's definitely worth at least an hour of play time. So, folks, that's going to do it for this evening. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this show, is it any good? Please leave a comment on here, Twitch. Please leave a comment on YouTube. Join our community Discord. Hit us up on Twitter, at Subpixel Team, or me, at Think Gibson. Any way you can to let us know you like this show. And also, give us your ideas of what games you want us to play next. Uh, Pokemon Unite was a game I had my eye on. And then there were some uh, people mentioned in our community Discord saying they wanted us to play it. And I said, great, perfect. And that's why you're seeing it right now. You can find us at Subpixel Team on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. You can also find us at subpixelfilms.com. That's our YouTube page. We have links to all of our stream archives, all of our edited videos, all sorts of stuff we got up there for two, three years past. It's a gold mine of incredible Subpixel content. You can find me personally on Twitter at Think Gibson, like I mentioned, where I'm I think the latest thing I did was post pictures of some uh, uh, scale models I've been doing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And hey, if you got a Switch, go play some Pokemon Unite. It's a fun game. See you all next time. Bye.